And tonight, people who work at an active shooter training company founded by former Greenville County deputies say training sessions have been on the rise since the shootings over the weekend. Our Taggart Houck spoke with trainers today. Two former Greenville County deputies, they're taking their knowledge to the classroom and the workplace, making sure you barricade yourself inside these doors and using props. And the goal here, survive. If I grab this and I start pushing your wrist back, what happens? Comes out. You're done. Yeah. It's training Chad yeah, Ayer says should be the norm. Yeah. Police departments across the upstate offering active shooter training for anyone who wants it. Many times you're here to say, well, I didn't believe that would, would happen here, but we have to realize that it can happen in any city USA. And since 2018, this former Greenville County deputy trains people full time. And one motion, I'm driving this way and I'm telling you, I'm taking this away. Mm -hmm. And after a two weekend mass shootings, he's seen a sharp increase in appointments. Right now, if a gunman came into your facility, what would you do? And the number one answer I get is, I don't want to think about it. I don't know. His approach, proactive, while also being a responder. Now I'm using circumferential pressure and collapsing down on those veins and arteries to stop the bleeding. That's good. To packing a wound. I'm packing that entire void with that gauze. You bleed out in two to four minutes from certain injuries. It may take EMS 20 to 25 minutes to get inside your facility. So guess who the paramedic is now? You are. But behind the moves, reinforcing the mindset. So really I want people to know you can win these. You can survive them. Air says, of course, this is not just useful for active shooter situations. He referred us to a situation in which an Anderson County teacher he trained just a few weeks ago had an accident where they cut themselves in the leg. They used one of the tourniquets that they provided for them. And that teacher tells Ayers that it actually saved his life. Taggart Houck, WYFF News 4.